<clears throat> hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Uh, this man Kumari, aka Reno Soul Motion, and you are watching my channel. Um, <clears throat> I'm making this video because um, I realize being trans or being uh. Being, oh, being an FGM and um, state of mind and relationships and the con conflicts with communication and with partners who are lesbian is kind of really hard. <clears throat> and I'm um, I'm saying this in, in a way because I realize when a lot of people say, when did I know that this and that about being trans or have I always felt this way or was I always a man or did I always have, you know, what I got now and da 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 And how does it feel for me to be me, you know? You know, there's a thousand questions you guys ask every single day that sometimes I ask myself a lot of questions, you know. You know, some people ask me, well, why don't you just be a stud? But then I, I'm not going to cut my equipment just because, just to get with no female. I'm not going to do that. Just because there's lack of communication and respect with, with biological with straight women. I'm not going to sit up here and have, give myself more mental tear down and bash and hatred from by uh, biological lesbian women, you know. Basically, the four one con the four one one concept of being trans is kind of like. Not only do you have to figure out yourself mentally and physically, but you have to deal with a lot of stuff emotionally. Not only without with that outside world, but you have to deal with stuff on the inside of yourself, uh, meaning that every day you. You start to change, and I realize that being with lesbian women, they're not used to this type of situation, you know, that we go through. Sometimes we do sound self-centered, and um, not never, you know, pleasable, and sometimes we get so wrapped up in trying to deal with our self-issues that we lack, lack communication with our partners, or we look to substance for companionship or um, to deal with, you know, trying to obtain the issues in a different manner. And with me, I would say I ran with a lot of issues. I mean, lately why I haven't made videos is because me dealing with my self-issues and trying to seek companionships with women who are biological lesbians but still trying to have that respect of a man and still trying to not be categorized as like every biological man, I still get that stereotype, you know, from lesbian women, you know, that, hey, you, you're now a man and I you just give you male pronouns and now when I walk down the block, I got to deal with men thinking I'm straight and I'm not, you know. I understand that, that lesbian women you know, deal with a lot when it comes to dating a trans, but then you have to understand it takes a lot to be a trans person to deal with a lesbian woman, to understand that maybe later on the line you could leave us and go find and be with a woman who embraces her woman and her sexuality preference and not want to be with us because the way we carry ourselves and the way we, um, and how we interact with the rest of the world, the world sees us, you know, and how they will perceive to see you because of us. Um, I mean, it got so bad that talking to women and getting sometimes not the respect that I thought I deserve and I give them the respect to say, I'm not changing your, your sexual preference, you know. I'm still just being in, interacting and having a sexual attraction to someone who's also part of the community. Um, with saying that, it's kind of like being trans, you don't get so much of the respect that you want to get 
from biological straight women because they're so s stuck in that stereotype and that so uh, superficial outlook of what they want at for a man, you know, and what we're lacking is not what, you know, what they might decide to go under surgery, you know, to go under a knife and get your chest that used to remind you of a female getting it flatted and buffing out every single day in the gym just to get that definition of a biological man so you will have that respect from a biological straight woman but then it's kind of like you're kind of changing yourself you changing yourself to live in the aspect of a biological cisgender straight man instead of remembering yourself as what who you are and living for the person that you are if that makes any kind of sense you know I'm I'm just kind of speaking out, just just not like a certain way. I'm just throwing stuff out there, because me I I was you know when things weren't going right, you know I figured I'd talk to a straight woman and and sometimes a lot of women think that oh because we look a certain way and then we carry us a certain way that we're deceiving them because we're not telling them who we were and deceiving them to think that we're a biological man walking through the world and we know that we weren't, you know, we, we weren't biological, that, you know, trust me, we weren't biological born that way because every day when, just because you on T and you use a pump and all that, you're not going to be able to produce kids or, you know, walking around with these little <laughs> wannabe balls to look like you know, sp you know, sperm sacks, but in the aspect of it, when you look at your manhood, it's not that, you know, it's not that what they're really looking for, you know, or what they, their eyes perceive to have, you know, what a biological woman is seeking, you know, and it, it kind of tears you down inside and breaks you, you down mentally and physically, that you look for an outlook, um, to not deal with the, that situation. Then to get looked at differently from the lesbian women who you think would have your back because if you do not get 100% bottom surgery, you know, maybe you could talk to them. But then they're so self-conscious because they were so worried about what society or what everybody else would think of them. So then they kind of want to kick you to the curb because you're not fitting in the same box. But then you are kind of still in that same box, you know. Just because a trans man does not sit up here and look like a female anymore, it does not mean that they don't sit in the same category as you do. I mean, just because you sit there and you're comfortable with your woman, your womanhood and your breasts and your lower anatomy, does not mean that you can just disrespect someone else because they see, they choose to go and be comfortable with themselves of if getting surgery, flat chest and you know, being injecting hormones into themselves to look more manifestation, have a ma manish looking appearance to the outer world. So some women think that is a term that are lesbian women. But then think about it when a person shaves, they're still the same person. No matter if you put facial hair on them, you take it off. And they're still the same person, you know. The heart beats only one beat, and it's meant for you. So that heart don't change, you know. And I don't get where people think that judgment sayings and slings and words and things to that nature should be be out there, you know, people putting you on full blast to tell you you're not a man or and I, I don't want to be with a man or, or things like to that nature and you're like, damn, okay, I, I'm part of the community, I, I figured I'd get the respect, but then you don't, even biological men who have their manhood don't get even that much respect from straight, from any, from many women or people because of the way society tells them, you know, if you're this type of man, then you're going to be this kind of way. And that's just like with women, you know. Straight women say that about men, or if you're not this height, you're not this tall, you're not this big, you're not this long, then you're not the kind of man for me because I, I like a man that 
is a man that looks like a man, talks like a man, acts like a man, dressed like a man, smell like a man, 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 you know, and to use that stereotype and try to hear that type of stereotype from straight women and then get this kind of stereotype from lesbian women, it's like, it's a win-win situation, you know, kind of like you got to confide in something so you kind of do, you lose yourself into drinking and smoking to hide the fact of your insecurities that people are not going to like who you who you are or how you perceive yourself to be and I don't know it's just crazy man when you think about it <clears throat> and I'm kind of just rambling kind of because it was a thought in my head because I watched a video of one of my friends not a friend, I mean, one of his associate on, uh, on uh, YouTube, and uh, what was his name, Hayden? I don't remember. No, Mr. Michael or something like that. He spells his name C H I C E A L and uh, M R. Uh, you know, I don't know how to say his name, but he was making. Um, a video saying how not to transition and a lot of guys don't realize that you know sometimes you gotta don't forget who you are it's getting wrapped up into the transitioning stages you know looking at yourself in the mirror trying to see how much man how much manly you can look but forgetting trying to hide the Hide who you used to be, you know, so the rest of the world don't know who you used to be, and you try to work so hard to cover that up, like, I don't know, I don't cover shit up, <laughs> you know, I made videos on here that um, express who I was, and the way I was, and the way I was born, and everything, and I take it in stride, I mean, if I didn't know who I was, and the way I was, then I wouldn't know who I am now, I'm, you know, you gotta remember who you used to be, because just because you change and shoot steroids, and go to the gym, and work three, four, five hours, and taking power shakes, and, um, get chest surgery, and maybe a lower surgery, or whatever, you know, we have to understand the people that we get involved with. They're used to the people that we were. And it takes a lot to deal with the people that we are now. But then we sometimes we become self-absorbed and so, so stubborn and so much of an asshole that we kick their feelings to the curb just to respect them. And then we want them to respect ours. You know, I, I'm a... I am a fool for that one because I, you know, I want somebody to respect me and know me and know me, but then I, you know, I have to understand that people are, can't, they're, they're still trying to adjust to the person I used to be, you know, and who is me to sit up there and tell them to rush along to, you know, know me, you know, hey, forget who I was, you know, this me now, you better be, you better know, recognize, you know what I'm saying, you better learn a day, <laughs> you know, and it's kind of disrespectful, it's like we're being assholes, you know, just being a really fucking dickhead, because we're pushing, forcing someone to forget who we were, just because we choose to, and see, my thing is, I said, fuck that, I, I, I knew who I was, and who I was made me who I am today, and I, and kind of, you know what I'm saying, embrace your present. You got to remember your past. Because you got to remember what you went through and who you used to be. Because that made you who you are. You know. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes I think we just kind of, like, get so involved in ourselves that we just don't care about what other people want. I'm just kind of fucked up, and <laughs> if I think of it, it's kind of just really messed up. But um, yeah, this is your man, Kamari, man.
and um, I'm sorry I didn't go on so right? Peace.